What is this place? It's so blocky and strange, yet it feels so familiar. Yes, everybody, I am back with Quest for Creative. My, I, I got my server working again. Yes, it turns out it was just the power supply. And it also turns out that I did have the hard drives in a RAID 1 configuration, so I did have them mirrored. It just means that my RAID card isn't... Uh, you know, creating the raid like it should, and I can't read it from, you know, other computers. Yeah, that kind of thing. But uh, that's it for the news. We'll leave that. We'll leave the news up to um, the vloggy thing, which is now its official title, the vloggy thing, because I like the title. Um, so what we are going to do today is going to be different, because if you remember... Uh, I said this before in a different video, not in a Quest for Creative video, but in other videos. I'm getting a little bored with this, and I did qualify that as endgame. Basically, if I've created enough, if I have enough infinite stuff, and I have a considerable amount of infinite stuff, if we float over to my request pipe here, I have almost three whole pages of infinite stuff. Just stuff that I can, you know, I have everything that I could ever possibly want. Um, so I, I qualify it as if I can pretty much do whatever I want to do and not leave the area for weeks on end and I eventually get bored of it, that's pretty much end game. I've won Quest for Creative. But I don't want to give up yet. I don't want to stop playing this world yet. I like this world. I like what I did. I don't want to start over again from scratch with a different mod pack. I've become invested in this world, so I'm going to mix things up a little bit, spice things up a little, and I am going to start exploring other mods. Uh, basically, we have fiddled with uh, Tinker's Construct, a uh, little bit of open blocks, um, a little bit of Galacticraft, not a lot, uh, but mostly it was uh, uh, Thermal Expansion and Mine Factory Reloaded that I did all of this. But there are like 116 mods in this mod pack. And I don't know the vast majority of them. I don't know much of anything about the vast majority of them. So I'm going to start exploring other mods. Uh, I'm just going to basically pick a mod at random. Pseudo-random. And I'm going to start delving into that and see, you know, just what I can do with it, maybe get more ideas for the quest for creative stuff, and go from there. Today, uh, I am going to delve into witchery, because it looks like an interesting mod, and I look like I could have some fun with it. Uh, I've set up a little work area for us. Uh, just have my request pipe here so I can actually access all of my free stuff without actually having to go find it. I have an input chest, so I can just dump my inventory in there. Uh, assuming it's stuff that's already in there, I can dump it in there and take care of that. Uh, I have a large chest that's being accessible with a crafting station. I have all of the witchery stuff that I've played with before, basically the poppet shelves that are the important thing. Um, so I have all of that. Um, and yeah, so I'm going to start playing with witchery just to see what's up. And I have a couple of things already built for it. Like, I, I I have two witches' ovens already. I have a distillery right here. Uh, pop. There we go. Lots and lots of clay jars. And I'm basically going to start right there. Um, I also have the uh, getting started guide opening open in the other... Uh, other window, uh, the other screen. So I'll probably be pausing every now and then to check that. Um, so let's get started. What does the getting started guys suggest? Uh, the first step it says is install Minecraft Forge. Well, I think I might be a little bit past that. Let's skip ahead a bit. All right, so make a witch's oven to cook meat, charcoal, produce other materials. Ovens can be upgraded. Really? I didn't actually know that. Hi, kitty. My kitty's meowing at me. Uh, you will need some clay jars. Have that. Create some mu mutandus using mandrake root. 
Okay, so we have Mutandus now, a little bit of Mutandus, because I got that for the Renoa trees, or Rowan trees, or whatever they're called. Ooh, you know what? Let us stock up on our clay jars. That way I just have them. Boop. Same with the distillery. All right. I have no idea what that symbol there means. Uh, all right. So I have all that. Um... So then the next step is to use the mutandus to get Spanish moss. Tip, you need shears to harvest it. Okay, so I need... Um, I Well, one, I need shears. Do I have shears? I do not. Oh, that's an easy thing. Boop, boop. Oh, nope, there we go. Okay, let's try that again. There we go. All right, so now I have shears. I do not have any vines, though, do I? Boop. I do not. Crap. Well, that's one thing I don't have in the infinite loop is vines. Um, <laughs> well, that may be a small problem, I guess. Um, but I can definitely get vines. I mean, that's relatively simple. That's what I was looking for. Uh, do I have vines? Probably not. No, I do not. Alright, so what I need is jungle saplings. Let's get, uh, two of those just in case. Submit. There we go. And then I sit here and wait for five minutes while this thing <laughs> processes my request and sends it over here because holy crap. <laughs> I, mean, I just have this, all of this stuff. It takes forever to get here. And you might be curious why I have this plank cover here. Uh, that's because the routed request pipe actually connects to the crafting station. I don't know why, but it does. So, yeah. Um, sun's going down, sun's going down eventually, but I have a bed right over there for that exact reason. There is one other thing that I do not have here, uh, which I guess technically I could get over here. It would just take a little bit of uh, liquid craft pipes. Or, li no, uh, liquid ducts. That's the word I was looking for. Liquid craft pipes. Uh, uh, yeah, it would take some liquid ducts. Am I going to get my jungle saplings anytime soon? Uh, it would just, yeah. Um, and that is that liquid crafter right here. And what it's set up to do is to make the attuned stones. Um, so I got a timer down here, a little lever, and all I have to do is put in diamonds and these whiffs of magic, and it creates me attuned stones because the liquid crafter is smart enough to use lava that I input to it instead of the lava bucket, which is really, really cool. So I have that all set up and ready to go. Uh, did I get my jungle saplings yet? No. Yeesh. One would think that would have been here by now. But apparently not. Apparently I'm going to have to go hunt for jungle saplings. I'm jumping on the bed. Let's try that again. There we go. And now I can sleep, hopefully. <laughs> I just don't want to be dealing with mods. I don't have this area torched up yet. Uh, though I don't have to worry about creepers, which is always cool. Uh, jungle wood. So the jungle saplings would not be here. Where would the jungle sa Where did I hide the jungle saplings? There's a reason I had the request pipe there is so I don't have to go hunt f hunting for jungle saplings. I know I have jungle saplings somewhere, I just don't... Ex Ooh, there they are. Jungle saplings. All right. Yeah, you should have a responder chip, right? Yeah, the broadcaster chip and the responder chip. So, did it just take that long? Maybe if I go over there, there'll be two jungle saplings now? No. Okay, apparently something's broken with my pipe system that I'm not pulling things out. I must not have, like, a junction pipe somewhere where I need it. Um, so I don't know. Anyway, so, jungle sapling. We'll put down a jungle sapling. And I have no bone meal. Uh, let's see if this works. Uh, doop. No, come on. Clicky. Bone. Uh, grab six of those. Pull the numbers out my butt. And let's see if that actually works. Probably not, honestly. 
But the general idea is I'm going to put down jungle saplings. I'm going to grow them. I'm going to get vines on them because that's where vines come from, I guess. And then I will use the mutatus, mutandus, mutandus, to transform them into this Spanish moss. And apparently I need Spanish moss to make puppets. And puppets are an important role of, or have huge important roles of witchery. Did I just straight up break this? Does this just not work? <laughs> Nothing's happening. You know, I put this here so I didn't have to go hunting for things every single time I needed something. I mean, it's nice that I have infinite of stuff, but it would be really nice if I could access the infinite stuff easily. I don't know, is there a limitation to how long the pipes can be? It didn't even pull. So it didn't even request the two bones. Or the six bones, or however many bones that I put in there. It didn't even request them. Well, that's actually kind of annoying. No vines? No vines. You bastard. Or does it have to be the big trees? The four by fours? Two by twos. Not the four by fours. The four thick ones. Probably. Uh, didn't I have another sapling here? Didn't I? Mm. It just gave me three? Eh, you bastards. Oh, yeah. Gonna have to go pull stuff out. See, I thought I had all this all prepared. I thought I was ready to go. You know, I, I figured, well, I have access to all my stuff, so I just have to sit there and wait for the stuff. I don't have to go hunting for it or anything. All I have to do is just request it, and we're good to go. Apparently not. It's actually kind of annoying. <sighs> All right, let's try the big tree now, the two by two trees. Boop, boop. Come on, give me vines. There we go, now we have vines. All right, so now I need the mutandus, which I don't have a lot of, I admit. And that does diddly squat. Okay, does it have to be floating vines, maybe? Like, if I put the vine, boop, there, and let it grow down, does that what it need to be? Because it says, create mutandus using mandrake roots. Use the mutandus to get Spanish moss. Tips you need to shears to harvest it. And if I click on the Spanish moss, it brings me to a page that shows something like, oh, Spanish moss is a flowering plant. It might help if I actually read the damn thing. <laughs> Spanish moss is a flowering plant that grows on larger trees in much the same way as vine does. Okay, so I was right. Uh, the moss is a common ingredient in making them poppets. The moss is obtained with random chance by using metandus on another plant or by using shears on a place Spanish moss block. If shears are not used to harvest the block, it will be destroyed. All right, do I have to do this maybe? That is glint weed, which I'll probably need later. Rowan sapling, alder sapling, fern, rowan sapling, Spanish moss. There we go. All right, now will you grow? So if I get rid of the vines there and I put you there, will you grow? Because if you grow, then I have an infinite source of Spanish moss, which is awesome. It's just got to grow first. Um... Nope, that doesn't work. <laughs> uh, I guess I'm going to have to sit here and wait. Ah, while we're at it, let's then move on to the next thing. Uh, use the Spanish moss to make some poppets. Damn it. Uh, use the mutandus to get rowan saplings and grow rowan trees. Well, we could do that already. Uh, build an altar. There we go. That's a fun thing we can do. We can build an altar. How do we build an altar? An altar is created by placing six altar blocks in a two-by-three pattern. You will know it's correct when the red cloth appears over the top of the altar. So I need altar blocks. So I need at 
at which witchery altar blocks altar blocks which one would be that that would be that one right there wow exhaled of the horned one breath of the goddess water bottles which isn't a big problem rowan wood which i have a ton of and stone bricks which i can get easily enough but exhale of the horned one uh oak saplings do i have that already maybe let's see i have whiff of magic hint of rebirth and breath of goddess so no i need oak saplings put in the witch's oven uh oak wood do i not have oh there we go oak saplings let's get me a stack of oak saplings there are advantages to having this infinite system i don't have to go anywhere i don't have to hunt for oak saplings i just have them and then just throw that in there and then we sit there and wait and that gives us the six exhale of the horned one that we need because we need six blocks two by three uh to make these altars uh, I also need Breath of the Goddess, which I believe... Yes, I do. It gives us six of those. What else do I need? I need water bottles. So I need six water bottles. Which, hang on, I'm going to sleep first. I guess I probably should have slept before I came back, but eh, whatever. Uh, I need water bottles. Boop. And... 24 stone or 24 bricks let's see water bottle water bottle water bottle water bottle glass bottles one two three four five six oh they don't stack do they do water bottles stack i forget let's see water water where do i have water i have water over here they do not stack that's always annoying i hate it when i hate it i hate items that don't stack because then I can't make a whole bunch at once. Um, then I need 24 smooth stone. Boop. That'll work. And here we go. Wait, was that 24 smooth stone? Oh, and I also need uh, 12 rowan wood. Which I do have lots of. See, rowan wood, rowan wood, rowan berry, sapling, birch wood, rubber saplings, no rowan wood? Wait, where do I keep rowan wood then? If the saplings are there and the berries are there, where do I keep the rowan wood? Because I know I have a lot of it. Or do I not have a lot of it? Is that a problem? Uh, rowan berries, rowan saplings, but I don't have rowan wood. Well, that's a problem. That's something I don't have in my infinite system. Well, we're finding limitations in my system left and right, aren't we? Though I do have plenty of rowan wood right there, so... <laughs> it's not a big problem, but it is a problem. It's because I never actually bothered setting up specific tree farms for each different type of farm so it's six there breath of the goddess exhale of the horned one bunch of those guys and then water bottles which gives me altars oh i didn't it didn't occur to me that they gave me six or they gave me uh three each so i only needed two all right and now i do know that altars need space because you need to draw things around them. So I am going to put this down here, out in this clearing that I have made. And I'm going to be a little bit more conservative, so I'm going to stay away, further away from that hill. Because I don't know how big of a space you need. Two, three. Okay, so now I have an altar. And I have gaining power, whatever that means. Um... If you collect its current recharge rate, it is important to check that there is sufficient available power to perform a given rite or use a distillery or kettle recipe. Uh, the maximum amount of power available is determined by how much, how many natural items are in the vicinity of the altar. Dirt, grass, trees, plants, etc. All contribute. Oh, I just cleaned out the area. <laughs> so I could, I could increase this by doing... 
that. 408, yeah, you can. All right, so I could put like trees and stuff, probably increases more with trees and all that fun crap. Um, an altar has a range of about 14 to 16 blocks to collect power and a range of 14 to 16 blocks to distribute the power. The distribution uh, range can be extended to 28 to 32 blocks by placing an Arthena on the altar. Well, then let's see if we can do that. What is an Arthena? Oh, I was right there. Um, let's just type it in. A-R-T-H-A-N-A. -A. That is a knife that could be made with gold nuggets, gold ingots, an emerald, and a stick. Well, that I have plenty of. Is it just something I can right-click with it, and it just sticks around, or does it have to just sit on there or something? Uh, two gold ingots, that's perfect. Uh, an emerald, that's perfect too, and a stick. Uh, let's go over to our workbench because I know where it is and it's easy to access. I can access it on the fly. All right, so now we have our Arthena. It's, yeah, plus four attack damage, so not that powerful. Whee! And we go boop. Boop. There we go. Does that work? I have no idea. Is that all I had to do? Um, the range can be extended by placing an Arthena onto the altar. Well, apparently that's all I have to do. Um, any heart glyphs, distillery, spinning wheels, kettles must be within range, within this range in order to draw power from the uh, altar. So 28 to 32 blocks. So I am 1, 2... 26, 27, 28 is over here. So my distillery is actually within range. Awesome. Uh, certain objects can be placed onto the altar will boost the focusing capabilities of the altar, either improving the amount of magic it can focus, the rate at which it, can, it replenishes, or the range it can distribute power. Only one of each type of item will have an effect. There may also be other less savory foci uh, items that dark magic practitioners could make use of. So if I use a skull, I get plus, or plus one base power. I use a wither skull, plus two base power. Chalice, plus one base power. Filled chalice, plus one base power. So apparently I could put a skull, a wither skull, a chalice, and a filled chalice. Um, let's see, what else can I put on there? Boosting recharge rate. A skull, plus one base base recharge rate uh candelabra candelabra yeah i never understood that word a candelabra i always thought it was like candle opera uh which was always a weird word to me but it's candelabra and it's one word and there's a b involved that i never uh, i never realized um so let us build one of these chalice things just because i like the idea chalice 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 i care about chalice uh i needed a tombstone a bunch of gold nuggets and two gold ingots well that's easy um wait i need whiff of magic i need a diamond whiff of magic uh, i need a plop diamond and that will give me that uh that uh, the blue thing this guy the attune stone and then i need a bunch of gold uh specifically i need three gold ingots because i need to make one into gold nuggets and that will give me all the gold stuff that i need then i need to put that stuff in there flick you pop and i have my attune stone awesome that's why I put that thing there. It's just so much easier. If you're making like a whole bunch of them, like I did for all the poppet shelves that I use for uh, chunk loaders, it's just way the crap easier to do it that way with the liquid cra liquid crafters. All right, so now I have a chalice. How do I fill this thing? I need redstone soup. Holy crap. Um, I will save that for a more advanced thing. <laughs> Plop. Boop. 
Okay, so now we have a chalice. Let's go get a skull, because they look cool. I always think they look cool anyways. Uh, skull, 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 skull. I should have wither skulls over here somewhere. Do trophies work? Probably not. Yeah, my, uh, my spawner up here is very effective. I have it turned off at the moment because it blows through the, uh, the, the, the mob essence. But, I mean, it's effective. It works. What I might be tempted to do, I don't know how I would pull this off safely, but what I might be tempted to do is actually set up an automated system to deal with withers, and I'd get, like, infinite uh, nether stars and crap like that. But that would be kind of a pain in the butt. Uh, let's make a candelabra, because they look cooler than regular torches. I know, I could put a whole bunch of stuff on there, but I kind of caring about um candelabra yeah that's a weird word but apparently it's this thing and i never knew that this thing had a name before but i guess it's logical that it would have a name so i need three iron three torches and another one of those attuned stones i should just make like a bunch of them uh oops. there we go uh yeah, let's, let's just make a whole bunch of these candelabras. Or these uh, tombstones. Wait, do they stack? Oh, I forget. Do they stack at all? If they don't stack, then this is kind of pointless. Um, no, they don't stack. Do they? Oh, fuck. I forget. I'm about to find out. Uh, I also need whiffs of magic. I also need to sleep so I don't have to worry about mobs. Uh, I guess it would probably be just be easier if I set the world to peaceful, but pfft. I'm sure there's plenty of things you can't do in peaceful mode that I want to do. Like, I would lay odds that the demon you can su summon at the end, at the, at the end game of witchery, possibly not even the end game, I actually don't know, but I bet you the demon you can't summon if you're on peaceful mode. Pop. Let's see, are you what I think you are? Can you stack? And they do stack. Awesome. All right, so I'm just going to grab a few of those, and I'm going to let that run, take care of itself. Plop. And, oh, I need three iron. I forgot the iron. I know, I keep going back to these chests, even though I have infinite supplies everywhere else. But, uh, yeah, whatever. It's all good. It all works. Uh, boop, boop, boop. Nope. There we go. One of those. Three of those. And a candelabra. I like the word now. Candelabra. Boop. Ooh, pretty. <laughs> uh, wow. <laughs> we have a lot of power now. Times five. That's actually kind of impressive. Um... And we could add other stuff. I could, like, add a regular torch and a regular skull. Uh, could add, yeah, regular skull would get me plus one base power. Um, Arthana I already have. And apparently there are other things that do things, but I don't know what they do. And I don't see them in the wiki. Um, I'm probably going to have to clean out this area later, but... That's about it. Um, and I have been recording for a little over 30 minutes. So I'm going to end the episode here. Hey, we've actually made something cool that at least looks cool. Uh, we've delved into witchery. Um, and I got 13 exhale of the horned one. It's always cool, I guess. I don't know. Uh, the wood ash seems to be relatively worthless. Um, you can use it... Oh! You can use it to make ritual chalk. Okay, that's kind of important. Uh, Mutandus is not very useful once you're done with it. At least as far as I can tell. I might find out later on. Uh, what you can do with it that I do find useful is you can use it with bones to make more bone meal. So instead of three, you can make five. Or instead of... Th Three, you can make seven. So if you're limited on bones, you can make more bone meal. Uh, I do think that's kind of cool. 
Um, but we are going to need ritual chalk and probably a ton of it. Um, and I'm going to have to worry about making gypsum, but I will save that for the next episode. So in the next episode, we're going to continue to dive into witchery. And hopefully by the end of the episode, we're going to have the chalk out. Oh, excuse me. We're going to have the chalk outlines, uh, the chalk marks or whatever. The witchy symbols over there. Oh, and it is awesome. It is growing. Uh, according to this, Spanish moss grows just like vines, but they grow faster. And you can't climb them. Um, so far, they don't seem to be growing much faster. But, hey, as long as they're growing, I can, I can harvest them and I can get a whole bunch of them. And then I can make the poppets. All right, so I'm going to end the episode here. So I will say to you guys, as always, keep playing the game and have fun.